uh, outreach programs, uh, including a uh, console for kids. Feeling helpless and hopeless is a symptom of a mental health issue. It is not the reality of your situation. Anxiety Gaming takes every dollar donated to it and pays for somebody's therapy so that they too can find that happiness, so that they too can move forward. They have a mobile uh, gaming truck, an 18-wheeler, with its trailer converted into an arcade. It does not mean that you are weak or you can't change. The key to mental health recovery is to start small and ask for help. Just have an opportunity to help you guys is, you know, it's all I need. The simple act of talking to someone about how you feel can be an enormous help. Having a strong support system such as Anxiety Gaming will speed your recovery. Mental health issues are now the leading cause of disability around the world. Over 61 million Americans will experience a mental health disorder in a given year. Anxiety Gaming provides plans for recovery that includes matching you to a therapist at low cost who fits your personality, a strong community that encourages recovery, help with disability and governmental aid, diet and exercise plans to help improve mental health, and tips on how to sustain progress. Anxiety Gaming also has two grant programs. For low-income gamers, Anxiety Gaming will completely cover the cost of mental health care. Anxiety Gaming works hard to fight the unfair stigma attached to mental health issues before they grow into mental health disorders. Anxiety Gaming is always looking for more people to join in the fight against the negative stigma towards getting help and even provides a vent line where gamers can express themselves completely anonymously. If you or a friend would like to game with others who are sensitive and understanding of what you may be going through, Anxiety Gaming has a growing number of guilds and clans on popular games such as Black Ops 3, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, and more. If you have mental health issues or know of someone who does, please remember you are not alone. Anxiety Gaming is there for you and is more than willing to help. If you're able to donate today, know that you're saving someone's life, that you're being the hero that you are in game. Thank you. So, uh, feels good, man, in chat, baby. Uh, I'll see you then. Peace late. Pipe's interactive menu screen puts the
At BingePipe, we hear you when you ask, is this streaming service real or just a joke in a video game? And our answer is simple. Are you a lawyer? Just in case you're a lawyer, it's definitely not real. Wink, wink. Before Binge Pipe, there was nothing for me. Now, I see everything. And it's too much. I, I know too much. Why are there so many? Binge Pipe. The following Binge Pipe content is sponsored by Bob's Shoes. Not only are Bob's Shoes one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes you'll ever own, but for every pair we sell, we donate another pair to kids in need. But if you return a pair, we take a pair away from a kid in need. Bob Shoes, you better order the right size. First, we made a show about cows. Then, we made a show for cows. Now, a show about cows? For cows? No way, you don't deserve it. By studying the flight patterns and the feeding habits of the swans, I can just barely justify my degree. He's a cop that doesn't play by the rules. She's also a cop that doesn't play by the rules. You know, they might not be cops. Thank you. You know, people ask me all the time, what is the first step to becoming an entrepreneur? And my answer is simple. Start following 90,000 people on Twitter. To enter the game, simply go to the website on your screen using your phone or other device and enter the room code. Or if you're a member of our extrasensory trial program, simply think the room code very hard. I'm Blake. And I'm Chad. And we're the Internet Brothers. Watch us pull some sick stunts. I went to a grocery store, dressed like a dinosaur. And figure out how to monetize our growing Instagram following. What are the tax implications? That's Blake and Chad. The, the Internet, Internet Brothers. Brothers. We bought a dinosaur costume. Karen, you've been through so much. Yes, I have. Personal tragedy after personal tragedy, followed by a series of small instances that when compiled, add up to more personal tragedy. It's truly been awful. That's why your family nominated you, Karen, for this unique opportunity. Are you ready? I think so. Karen, turn around, face the mirror, and take a look at your new hat. While we wait for players to join, why not pour yourself your favorite drink and hold it in front of the screen so that we can see if our targeted advertising is working. Apple. Fork. Highway. Telephone. Democracy. Binge pipe. We're just another thing. Don't worry about it. The following binge pipe programming is brought to you by reusable toilet paper. We're not going to tell you what that is or how it could possibly work. We just want you to think about it. Mmm, I love the relish that is coming through in this buttercream frosting. But I'm not tasting enough hot dog in the cupcake itself. Bears versus ducks. It pretty much plays out how you'd expect. Wait, oh my god, this Chinese takeout place, this isn't a normal restaurant. Look at the roof. It used to be a pizza hut. It used to be a pizza hut! Jessica, I know I'm from the future, but I love you.
Your phone or other device will function as your buzzer. Data informs us that this is fun. Hello, listeners. If you love podcasts, you'll love our new show. We collect clips of everybody's favorite part of podcasting, apologizing for the quality of the podcast. Please enjoy every excuse, justification, and admission of laziness. Welcome to the great ping pong debate. I want to apologize for the echo. We're not in our usual studio. This is Real Bears or Niels Bohr. And uh, <coughs> you'll have to forgive me as I'm uh, fighting cold this week. I'm not going to lie to you listeners. This is my least favorite Australian serial killer. But we said we'd create dating profiles for them all. So as you can tell, my neighbor's dog is very excited to list all the episodes of Pushing Daisies from most to least charming and join us won't you it'll be a good time and we promise the clips won't sound so poorly spliced together once we get used to the software coming soon the minister a period drama about the turn of the century british prime minister david lloyd george that's it i must create the parliament act to circumvent the house of lords objection to my social insurance budget plans don't worry like all period dramas we've added a lot of sex when you say circumvent do you mean go in from behind why, Margaret Drea Robbins, if you were the president of the Women's Trade Union League, I'd say you were flirting with me. You know what they say. What happens at the Paris Peace Conference will create complicated precedent which will inadvertently lead to World War II. Oh, God. Use me like protective legislation. This is taking longer than expected. Just kidding. We prepare for everything. Everything. Binge provides the quality content my friends and family needs for entertainment. But what about my physical nourishment? Sounds like you need to try Binge Pipe Carrots. Come again? Binge Pipe Farms create human consumables using the latest data technology. Instead of water and sunlight, the crops are fed your personal information to create produce that's produced specifically for their target audience. Wow, it, it tastes like nostalgia and self-importance. That's the personalized touch and the glyphosate. I don't know what could be better than these bench pipe vegetables. They also make cake. <laughs> oh, let's eat that instead. The following binge pipe content is sponsored by Mystaxis, the number one over-the-counter medication that prevents nosebleeds caused by telekinesis. If you want peace of mind while moving pieces with your mind, then Mystaxis is right for you. Our family has been in the business of trees for what seems like forever. My father had a pass down from his father as many generations as there are, well, <laughs> rings on this here tree. Now it's up to me, the first woman in our family, to take on the responsibility of overseeing the business and appeasing the bloodthirsty and vengeful tree gods with the unreasonable sacrifices they demand and to promise to never talk about the bodies. I'm all raising a family in these here woods. Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean, is home to some of the world's most unusual sea creatures, including the anglerfish. Oh my god. Oh, what is that thing? What is that? Is that a fleshy growth on its head? Oh my god. Oh, what kind of god would create such a monstrosity? Get it off my screen. There's so many gross fish. Oh, this is a waking nightmare. Oh, how long is this documentary? 52 minutes? Oh my gosh, oh boy, oh boy, I think I'm going to be sick. <coughs> <coughs> Did you know the settings menu has extended timers you can turn on to make the timers extend?
Special Agent Benson is used to working under pressure. Two minutes and counting, Benson. Piece of cake. Let's rock and roll. But he's about to face his greatest challenge. No, I was afraid of that. What's wrong? Autofill is using my old address. Looks like I'll have to enter this manually. Find out what happens when the world's best agent tries to order concert tickets. Is the stop sign technically in the square? Ten seconds. It looks Nine. like there's a sliver of the sign in this. Seven. It's too hard to six, tell. Five. Four, that square's gotta three, count, right? Right? Two, one. Gulp. Ryan Hannigan stars in The Checkout, streaming now exclusively on Binge Pipe. What is Bitcoin? A modern system for an ever-changing world. An unprecedented level of sophistication. A road you follow just to see where it goes. It's an indulgent gift you give yourself and then return. It's a letter from an old friend. A knock on the door late at night. Who could survive all this rain? It's a song you hum to yourself while the bank teller fills the bag. It's a deer, sleek and innocent and made of lightning. That letter from the old friend. This isn't their handwriting. It's hieroglyphics. The letter bursts into flame and you faint. You wake up in a rainy alley in London and hear a voice whisper, the songbird is deadlier than the jackal in the right climate. You look behind you, but there's only an old... Binge Pipe has a lot of hobbies besides presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe for funsies. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson. And not a single doctor can tell me why I make that sound. I suppose you two will be wanting separate checks. Okay, let's light this sucker. Start the game. Time for question one. First question. Like lambs to the slather. If Buffalo Bill, the serial killer from Silence of the Lambs, were to run out of lotion, what lamb byproduct could he substitute into his creepy catchphrase? It rubs the castorium on its skin, it rubs the lanolin on its skin, it rubs the shellac on its skin, or it rubs the ambergris on its skin. Okay, let's take a look. Ambergris is whale vomit, so no. <coughs> Want to see the answer? Lanolin is a fatty substance that's extracted from sheep or lamb wool, and it's used in ointments. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Up next. GPS, Godzilla positioning system. So, Godzilla is on his way to destroy Tokyo, but can't seem to find the island it's located on. What does he roar in frustration? Or, Let's see how that shook out. You blew it. <laughs> oh, honestly. Honshu, the largest of the four major islands that make up Japan, is where Tokyo is located. It's so like Godzilla to get lost. That would never happen to Mothra. That's why I'm totally Team Mothra. Hashtag Team Mothra. Why do we do it with three? And now, our luxury line of spells. And get ready to do some shopping because it's time for Dis or Dat. Dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's something you can buy at Gwyneth Paltrow's online store, Goop, or something you can buy in the Weasley's Joke Shop in Harry Potter. Don't think too hard. I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between Goop or Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. And you're both doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. Beauty Dust. Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder.
10 second pimple vanisher. Mist. Daydream Charms. Psychic Vampire Repellent. I'm not mad. I'm furious. But player two, you couldn't have done much worse. Uh-oh. Binge pipe diagnosticates that someone is pouting. Oh, that means it's screw time. <laughs> That's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for the other player. The results may surprise you. And you'll receive a bonus if they choose incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. Use them wisely. Or don't. You do you. I don't need you anymore. Try this on for size. Star Accords. If the nations of Earth convinced Star Wars villain Kylo Ren to sign the real-life Outer Space Treaty, which of these evil acts would he still be able to commit without breaking it? Sending a spy droid to Mars without UN approval? Launching a third Death Star to Earth's orbit? Building a Starkiller base on the moon? Or claiming Pluto in the name of the First Order? So what'd you pick? Nope, weapons of mass destruction are not allowed in space. And neither are tired plot devices. Watch how easy this is. All these other evil schemes would be prohibited by the Outer Space Treaty, but the treaty specifically states that any nation can explore space, the moon, and other celestial bodies. So sending up a robot wouldn't break any rules. These aren't the droids you're looking for. They're the droids looking for you. Oh, here's a good one. When the clock strikes, ah! Assuming the apocalypse hasn't happened and you're alive to read this question, what was the most peaceful time ever featured on the doomsday clock since 1947? Nine minutes to midnight, 17 minutes to midnight, 22 minutes to midnight, or 31 minutes to midnight? Got it. After the Cold War ended in 1991, the minute hand on the doomsday clock was set back to 11.43 p.m. Today, anything earlier than like 11.50 on that clock is just blank. Round one is history. Here's who you have to destroy. Currently, player one is in the lead. Player two, on the other hand, you're highly valued, but your score is not. The data we have acquired demonstrates a need for an additional screw. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So, do not be afraid to use that thing. Better get those answers in fast, player one, before you get screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. It's like the first round didn't even matter. Six trombones is not a parade. Coming up, foreplay and the afterlife. Which of the following is an example of a bachelor in paradise? 
Lincoln getting wasted in Valhalla, Da Vinci showing off his abs in Elysium, Beethoven having a one-night stand in Tartarus, or Einstein chilling in a jacuzzi in heaven. Hope you like what you picked. Beethoven was a bachelor, so this would be correct if Tartarus wasn't actually hell. I really wanted you to pick this one. Leonardo da Vinci was a lifelong bachelor, and Elysium is another word for paradise. <laughs> This one's known as It Was Load Bearing. And oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a Snicker Clutch Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, head in the game. Check out this gibberish phrase and try to guess which popular TV show title it rhymes with. Wow, you hit the stray fifth girder. And don't worry about that punctuation. A very important lesson. On making a killing. A plan for undetected homicide. Let's take a look. Player one. I don't know what this is, but it's not the right answer. You're gonna kick yourself. Now let's keep going. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Let's try PETA party. A big black bug bit a big black bear that... Oh, sorry. You you caught me in the middle of my vocal warm-ups. Uh, well, let's just... Let's get on with the question. I'll find a way to stay warm. Which provisions would a principled pita person not put in their pita pocket? Okay, falafel, 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 hummus, 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 shawarma, 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 tabula, tabula, tabula. And how'd we do? PETA stands for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Shawarma involves chopping them up and spinning them over a flame, which may be delicious, but isn't exactly polite. Do they make tofuarma? Why not try what to enjoy? Oh, that sounds gross. Oh, wait. Pipe recommends. Because you watched Better Call Saul, we thought you'd enjoy a story in the Hebrew Bible about an unbeatable giant, a heavenly prophet, an Israeli king, or a Philistine soldier. What'd you guys pick? <laughs> the correct answer is... In the Hebrew Bible, Saul is the first king of Israel. Saul fell on his sword to escape defeat, which is one of the few ways to cancel your Binge Pipe membership. There is no hiding from... Need four more subscribers to fund Sistine Chapel. If Michelangelo had a P 
Patreon page, which user would be subscribed? Pope John 007, Leonardo da Vinci is the bestie, Medici family official, or the real Vespucci? Okay, who chose what? <laughs> Should have picked this. The Medici family ruled Florence and were some of Michelangelo's biggest patrons. <laughs> Patreon makes it so simple to support the artists I love. Like, not the artists I actually love, but like my friend from college who started a music blog I never read. It's time for the it. Well, excuse me for living. Here's your clue. My precious, and also my semi-precious. This jack attack is a real gem. Good luck. takes it! Wow, player one, this score defies science, and yet somehow your opponent dug even deeper. Let's hear a solid two and a half cheers for the winner. And keep in mind, you don't know Jack! Pipe welcomes you. Join the party. Psst, join the party.
Psst, join the party. Join us. Join the party. There's room for more. Join us. Psst, join the party. Join us. There's room for more. Join us. Join us. Join us. There's room for more. Join us. Psst. Join the party.